Hello awesome people. Thank you for stopping by my channel. If you're new here, my name is Joy. I do makeup unboxings and makeup try-ons and a little bit of different things sometimes. If you are a regular subscriber here, thank you so much for supporting me and thank you for stopping by again and watching my videos. So today I'm going to be doing try-ons with the products that I received in my boxy base my boxy charm base box and my Ipsy Plus bag. And I already went ahead and um, did my brows with my hourglass, um, uh, what is it called? Um, brow micro sculpting pen. Because it takes me a really long time and I don't want this, you know, video to be forever, ever. Sorry. My allergies and sinuses, man, I can't get them under control. Um, and then I took my Awake Glow Pill and my um, Clean Skin Club Vitamin C Boosting. Um, I don't know what exactly it is, but I mixed them together and did my face, so that way that's out of the way. Every product that I'm using today I either got from um, BoxyCharm or from Ipsy. Except for my foundation, I believe, because I didn't get any of that. So today, I am going to be using the Ill Mackage in the color Boss. And this came from my Ipsy Plus. So I'm going to be doing a neutral, more of a neutral look today. And then I'm also going to use my Pure Festival 2.0 palette. And I'm going to use... Um, this brown and this brown and this color here to go with the brown that I have with my Ipsy color um, to be able to make a look today. And then I'm also going to be using the um, Watermelon Hydrating Primer on my face. And I'm going to use the Sea Surf Curl by Tarte um, Mascara. And I did decide to keep the um, I Am Amazing 24-Hour um, Eyeliner by Relher. I think I'm saying it wrong because I lost my other one. <laughs> and then I will be using this um, matte lipstick by um, Hank and Henry. And it is um, Sect, I think, is the color. And you open it like that. So... Be doing a bunch of browns today. Yay. Well, not too much. There'll be some color, I guess. But so I'm also going to be using my color switch um, brush cleaner. I've used it a couple of times already. I absolutely love it. So I'm going to try to do all my products with one brush. And I'm going to use the brush that I'm going to use is going to be my number eight brush by um, HP Cosmetics, the festival. Um, brush set that I bought off of their website. So I believe I'm going to go ahead and go in with the color um, Photo Op to start off with. Now, this is the part that's hard for me is talking why I put my makeup on, but I received a message in Instagram telling me that I need to talk more and show you guys how I actually do my makeup looks. So today, that's what I'm going to be practicing doing. Um, I'm going to apologize ahead of time because I highly doubt that I'll be looking at the camera very often. I will try to occasionally glance up so you know that I'm, you know, still here with you and realize but this is um I'm still new at this guys I'm trying my best to fake it till I make it but I'm glad people do reach out to me and say hey do this you know but so with that being said I will do both eyes instead of doing one and then going off camera and coming back because I thought that would be better but I was speeding through the videos um or you know cutting it off where I would just start and then um, crowd or you know cut it off when I edited it because I didn't want it to be that long of a video but then I'm told that I guess you guys like that instead so that's what I'm gonna do yeah and today today is Monday and I'm a little irritated I ordered some cosmetics from I think it's pronounced well, I guess I won't say who it is because they may take care of it first but anyways and they canceled my order, sent me an email, told me they canceled my order because I used a promotion code and I didn't read at the very bottom where it said that um, 
mystery bags from their company you can't use a promotional code so um it said that i had to go back in and um reorder it or order something else pretty much so i was like okay cool and i checked my card and my money was there so i'm like all right not a problem well it was a 50 percent off code that they sent me um and it worked so i didn't you know i guess i'll make sure to read stuff more um but anyways i'm gonna take a sip real quick uh but anyways, I guess I need to read stuff more often, um, because I don't read a lot of stuff, but, so anyhow, it does state that when you go back into the website and you read it, but I didn't want to spend more than $50, so I originally, um, got the $100 mystery bag, I put the code in for $50, and thought, heck yeah, so then I just went in and got the $50 mystery bag, and then I, when I ordered it, it automatically gave me a free promo code for, um, free shipping and I thought oh great <laughs> they're gonna cancel my order again um which I would have rather that happen than what did happen so I woke up this morning and they gave me two confirmations and had sent out the hundred dollar mystery bag that they were supposed to have canceled and the fifty dollars so I only wanted to spend fifty dollars and I end up spending a hundred and fifty I did email this company and I really really hope that they get back to me ASAP because I am not very happy happy at all at all but if they make things right that's awesome if they don't make things right they are not gonna like me because I'm going to blast it all over the internet and telling people do not order from them see this thing is awesome just do 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 and keep your brushes clean move right on to the next color so this is the boss color and this was the only um eyeshadow most of my ipsy was um like well i guess i got three um eye makeups but this was just you know one instead of like a um, palette so if it would have been a palette i would have tried to um done it a little bit differently but because of how it is i just figured to heck with it and uh i'm just gonna use it all at one time just make one video again with both so i hope i don't take too long but so i'm using the boss and then after i made my little like half moon shape I'll take the boss and put it in here, make that darker, and then I like to go around and do the same thing, make a little half moon shape, because, well, you'll see, you'll see how I intend on doing my look, I guess, as long as you stay and watch the whole entire video. So... Uh, when I ask everybody how they're doing, it would be nice if people put down in the comments how they were doing, but nobody does. <laughs> so I don't know if I should keep asking that, or if I should just be like, huh, you know, whatever, they're not going to answer me anyways. But if you do want to answer me, how are you doing? How has your day been? How has your Monday been? I guess maybe it won't be Monday. It might be Tuesday or Wednesday on your day, but how is the day that you're watching this been? Hopefully it's been awesome. I do know I say awesome a lot and I like it because if you wake up and you're like, I'm going to have an awesome day, then you normally have a really good day. And if you wake up and you're just like, oh, my day's going to be horrible, you normally have a really horrible day. And I can say this because I've done this. I have experience with depression and I know that your mood affects your day. So every morning I try to wake up and be like, I'm going to have an awesome day. And in order to accomplish that, I guess, I have to remind everybody else that they too are awesome and they need to be awesome and feel awesome and um, have an awesome day because who wants to have a crabby day? Like, not me. I don't like crabby days. Grant you, I do get them sometimes, sometimes, but I don't, I don't like them. So I don't know. This um, didn't look as sparkly in the pan as it is. But that's okay, we'll work with it. So can you see how there's the lighter brown and then the darker brown? Okay, clean this brush again. But I was just thinking, I'm not going to be able to do um, the whole thing with just one brush. Alright, and then... 
I'm going to go and use the onset color right here. And I'll pick that up. And I'm going to cover just the rest of what I have left. Pick up a little more. I just kind of dab it. These are the first times that I've used these products. And I tell you what, this um, pure palette goes on really nice. Seems to blend really good too. Let me clean this again. Um, the, uh, I know I'm killing it. The boss colored one. Maybe with a different brush it'd go on easier. But I did have a little problem with it. But let's see. Let's see if we can get it to blend. I'm going to try. I mean, like right now I have my eyes closed, I guess. But when I'm putting my makeup on, I do try to keep my eye open unless I can close it because I have hooded eyes and well I can be annoying sometimes so I'm just wanting to cover up that little white patch right there so that I don't have too much of an offset on it okay And the last color that I'm going to use, and I am going to switch up brushes, um, I'm going to use my Lavish hmm, Eye Shading Brush, and I'm going to use the color Pure Bliss right here, and I'm going to finish off my eyes. And this is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to pack it on there. I just like dab it on. And I'm just going to take it right down the middle of my eye. Just right down it. Sometimes I'll use um, like eye primer or concealer or whatever they call it, but. Mm, most of the time, no. And then after I go in the middle, then I just blend it out. Maybe take just a little more and put it down here towards the base of the eye. I want all of it to have a little shine on it. I know I'm not really doing good at looking at you guys, am I? I know. Well, as soon as I get my little setup done where I don't have to sit on my couch anymore, I think it'd be a lot easier to actually um, set my camera up and get my lighting probably done better and have just everything to where I can just sit down at my desk and do my filming and do everything and it'll be so much easier. I gotta have patience because things take time. I'm not a very patient person, but I'm trying. Trying, trying, trying. Be patient is really hard for some people. Really, really hard. Now, uh, I'm sure I'm doing this wrong, but that's how I do my makeup. Because of my hooded eyes. Because I want, I want my makeup to look nice. I want people to be able to tell that I have makeup on and so then you know I open my eyes my hoods cover this part down here so I kind of need up here to look like down here so when I close when I open my eyes and I look at you it still kind of looks the same just maybe a little smaller alrighty that's pretty well shaded it looks good to me what do you guys think so you guys don't ever have to copy me because I'm not a makeup artist. And if you don't like how I do it, you know, it's cool because I'm sure there might be something that you do that I don't like, but it's just life, right? All right, so we're going to go ahead and move on to the eyeliner. Uh-oh, I lost it. Oh, there it is. Whew, I have everything right next to me. That's why I wish I had my desk so that way I could just put everything out on my desk and just grab, 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 but I don't have that right now. Soon, soon, soon. 
My eyeliner, though, this eyeliner is actually not bad. Glides on really smooth. The one that I lost is just as nice or nicer. So I guess when I find it, I have two really good eyeliners. I'm just not going to have to open up anymore. Plus, that was a black one. I do have a brown one, so I have three eyeliners. But that brown, it would have um, it would have blended in with these colors, I believe. So I decided black was the color I needed to use today. And I don't really do winged. I've practiced a lot. But the couple of times that I managed to make it, I guess, look like a wing, which I've never done on um, YouTube or anything. But, um, I just, I don't know, I just don't look right with my eye shape, and I think it's because, like, everybody has their lid part, everybody's is different size, some's really small, a little bit bigger, some's really, really big, and mine, I, mine are kind of, like, uh, small, kind of, I think they're really small, but, um, I just don't think it looks right, so, I just quit practicing with it, because this is how I did it for years, before a winged eyeliner even became a thing, you know, um, once upon a time, they didn't do winged eyeliners. That's how old I am. Okay, I'm happy with that. Let's set that right there. And then we're going to go ahead and take that Sea Surfing uh, Surfer Curl from Tarte and use this. And I've used this a few times now, actually, and I'm actually liking it more and more. So I'm glad that it was sent to me because it is nice. I just don't really want to talk a lot when I'm doing my um, mascara. So I hope y'all can forgive me, you know, sometimes for not talking much. Definitely don't want to mess it up. It's so weird. Normally I would know. And I was going to cut most of it out. So I just, you know, would talk for a minute and then stop. And now I'm like telling myself, don't forget to talk, don't forget to talk, don't forget to talk. Don't forget to talk. <laughs> yeah. gonna call that good for now. Normally, I guess I'm lying because I'm finishing with it. Okay. Okay, okay. I normally let it dry, and then I curl it with my curling, and then I apply more to it. So I don't think I'm gonna do all those steps, but that's normally what I would do if you're curious. Alright, so I'm going to use the um Watermelon First Hydrating Primer. Now, this is the first time I think that I've actually used this. Maybe the second time. I don't really remember, honestly. So, I'm going to put it on and check it out. It does smell really, really good. I like that. I mean, I hope it don't remain smelling like watermelon on my face. Because I live in the country. All the mosquitoes and flies will bug me then. They'll be like, ooh, that's food. It smells just like water. Uh, right. Okay. Don't dry and they remain tacky, which it says it's good for all skin types. I believe that's what it said because I went in and researched it and I'm oily skin. And look at that. I don't know. Uh, Oh, well, something that, if it don't work for me, my daughter will love it. So I'm going to be using my foundation brush, the number two BH um, and Cosmetics Festival um, brush set. That's where it comes from. I love it. I used to use sponges, and now, 
going to be using this. So I just, I don't know if you're supposed to, but I just squirt it on like that. And then I go ahead and just apply it to my face. Almost like it is a sponge. I start off doing that. I don't know if it's the wrong way. At some point, I'll figure it out by watching my other YouTube people that gave me the inspiration to start my own channel in the first place. So, that's where I get most of my information from, is I was watching a bunch of girls. And a couple of guys, too. I won't, I won't lie to you. I watch Manny Moore. I think that's how you say it. He's pretty cool. I watch Raw Beauty Christie. She's the first person that I started watching that did um, makeup try-ons. And I just absolutely adore her. She is so funny and so honest. And if you don't like that about people, then I guess you won't like her. And then I love, um, I think it's Alexis Ryan. She does a lot of unboxings. So that's where um, I first got into watching unboxings because um, I came across, when I was watching a Raw Beauty Christie, she came into one of the uh, recommendations and I think it was um, BoxyCharm boxings that she was doing. And then honestly, that's where I heard about BoxyCharm and Ipsy and um, then... From there, I started searching up different people because I wanted to see what other people were getting, and and I came across um, Just Anne, and she is awesome. If you guys ain't never watched her, you should check her out. Well, I mean, you should check all the people out that I'm um, mentioning because I think they're all really cool, and if you like me, then you're probably going to like them, and so, I mean, it's a possibility, you know, 50-50, I guess, but um, anyhow, I think... I think I need to turn my lighting down, guys. Just a little bit. Maybe I'm just that shiny. Maybe I'm just that shiny. I don't know. I don't know if that helped. I don't know. Can't turn the lighting on the other side because they're already down as low as they'll go. So maybe I need to put them further away from me. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Maybe. But anyhow, and then I came in across um, She Crafty, and she does a lot, a lot of unboxings. Holy camoly. That girl, um, if I'm not mistaken, she posts like five, six, maybe even seven videos a week of um, boxes, and they're pretty much all different um, boxes. And she does makeup boxes, and she does like Fab Fit Fun, where you like the seasonal, that's what I, the seasonal boxes. And she does food boxes, animal boxes, um, like, I think I've seen boxes with, um, like, household things, and, um, just, just really cool things, like, um, check her out, super cool, very laid back in her videos, and super honest, and also tells you how it is, so, I don't know, I like, I like people like that. This is, oh yeah, I don't know if I told you, but this is my Revlon, or I'm lying, I'm so lying, it is not Revlon, it is my, um, um, L'Oreal, man, I just had like another brain fart, um, and Fabable up to 24 hour wear, I don't, I don't really think it's my type of foundation, um, I think the color is just a little bit off, but it is what it is, so... Alright, and that was when I first started getting makeup, and I hate wasting money, and so I'm going to use it, because I don't care if it's a little bit off, and I really don't think there's many people that are going to come up to me and be like, hey, your makeup is the wrong color. I mean, I give them props if they do, but most people don't in this world. The, there's a lot of cowards in this world. More people would rather um, be like, talk behind your back than come up to you and actually tell you something. Alright, well before I just keep jab jab jabbering away, I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the lipstick because that is the final and last look. Like, I ain't gonna do blush or um, contouring or bronzing or any of that because I didn't get any of that in my products. The only reason I did the foundation is so that way I could get a good idea of how the um, Watermelon Burst Primer works. Because I don't wear many primers alone 
except for my, um, um, touch and soul, um, no, um, pore blem primer because that is like a very, very, very good primer. And when I just want to stay home or if I'm not going to wear any makeup, maybe just a little bit of lip gloss, like run out, I'll put that on. And I don't know. I just think that it just does like miracle on my skin. But this is the lipstick and it's a matte finish. I mean, it looks matte when it finishes. It is got a creamy, um, silky like, um, texture to it and it does last that way for a while but this is like the fourth time that I've wore this lipstick because I decided since um I'd already swatched it because it was broken when I a little bit at the tip when I opened it that I wanted to go ahead and try it out and so I found out that when you wear it um right around here it uh, wears off like really quick the rest of it stays on but that little part right there where it makes you look like you have butthole lips I learned that from Raw Beauty Christie, actually. Um, but anyhow, it's the only thing that I see, so I don't really like that about the lipstick. And it's like a $17 lipstick, so I don't think it should do that if it's a $17 lipstick. But I do think it's pretty. I do like the look that I came up with. Um, I do like all of the products. My favorite was this palette because I just um, absolutely love how it blends. And the colors, um, you can combine so many of these colors together to make wonderful looks. Um, I will try the other, um, I remember I put it away. I will try, um, this again with another palette to do another, um, brown type look. But, um, I didn't think that blended very well. It was, gave me a little bit of a problem. And that was, um, I can't remember, but that was an expensive product, like, 20 some dollars I believe and so if it's going to be that expensive for one little eyeshadow I feel that it should blend a little bit better well anyways go ahead and if you'd like tell me what you think about the look that I came up with tell me if you like the products that I received out of my boxy charm and ipsy plus um let me know how your day is if you'd like and I'm gonna go ahead and let y'all go I want you to have a wonderful day remain awesome peace